Hello, beloved. The prophecy against Gog continues in our reading today from Ezekiel chapter 39. I'm Pastor Steve Billings, and today is Wednesday of the second week after Epiphany, January 17th, 2024. Let's begin with our opening versicle. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Our psalm for the week is Psalm 139, beginning at verse 1. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up, You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You hem me in, behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit, or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning, and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our hymn for the week is hymn number 402 from Lutheran Service Book, The Only Son from Heaven. The only Son from Heaven, foretold by ancient seers, By God the Father given, in human form appears. No sphere his light confining, no star so brightly shining, as he our morning star. O time of God appointed, O bright and holy morn, He comes the King anointed, The Christ the Virgin born, Grim death to vanquish for us, to open heaven before us, and bring us life again. O Lord, our hearts awaken to know and love you more, in faith to stand unshaken, in spirit to adore, that we through this world moving, each glimpse of heaven proving, may reap its fullness there. O Father, here before you, with God the Holy Ghost, and Jesus we adore you, O pride of angel host. Before you mortals lowly, cry holy, 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 O blessed Trinity. Today's reading is from the prophet Ezekiel, the 39th chapter, beginning at verse 1. 
Therefore, thou son of man, prophesy against Gog, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and I will turn thee back, and leave but the sixth part of thee, and will cause thee to come up from the north parts, and will bring thee upon the mountains of Israel. And I will smite thy bow out of thy left hand, and will cause thine arrows to fall out of thy right hand. Thou shalt fall upon the mountains of Israel, thou and all thy bands, and the people that is with thee. I will give thee unto the ravenous birds of every sort, and to the beasts of the field to be devoured. Thou shalt fall upon the open field, for I have spoken it, saith the Lord God. And I will send a fire on Magog, and among them that dwell carelessly in the isles, and they shall know that I am the Lord. So will I make my holy name known in the midst of my people Israel. And I will not let them pollute my holy name any more. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, the Holy One in Israel. Behold, it is come, and it is done, saith the Lord God. This is the day whereof I have spoken. And they that dwell in the cities of Israel shall go forth, and shall set on fire and burn the weapons, both the shields and the bucklers, the bows and the arrows, and the handstaves and the spears, and they shall burn them with fire seven years, so that they shall take no wood out of the field, neither cut down any out of the forest, for they shall burn the weapons with fire." and they shall spoil those that spoiled them, and rob those that robbed them, saith the Lord God. And thou, son of man, thus saith the Lord God, Speak unto every feathered fowl, and to every beast of the field, assemble yourselves, and come, gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice, that I do sacrifice for you, even a great sacrifice upon the mountains of Israel, that ye may eat flesh and drink blood. Ye shall eat the flesh of the mighty, and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of rams, of lambs, and of goats, of bullocks, all of them fatlings of Bashan. And ye shall eat fat till ye be full, and drink blood till ye be drunken, of my sacrifice which I have sacrificed for you. Thus ye shall be filled at my table with horses and chariots, with mighty men, and with all men of war, said the Lord God. And I will set my glory among the heathen, and all the heathen shall see my judgment that I have executed, and my hand that I have laid upon them. So the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord their God from that day and forward. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity, because they trespassed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them, and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. According to their uncleanness, and according to their transgressions have I done unto them, and hid my face from them. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob, and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel, and will be jealous for my holy name, after that they have borne their shame, and all their trespasses whereby they have trespassed against me, when they dwell safely in their land, and none made them afraid. When I have brought them again from the people, and gathered them out of their enemies' lands, and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations, then shall they know that I am the Lord their God, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them unto their own land, and have left none of them any more there. Neither will I hide my face any more from them. For I have poured out my Spirit upon the house of Israel, saith the Lord God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. 
he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people, and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, who have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who governs all things in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the prayers of your people, and grant us your peace through all our days. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today we pray from the Lutheran Prayer Companion, translated by Matthew Carver. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, I thank you that you have given me your grace and brought me to the holy estate of marriage and thereby kept me from sin. And I beseech you to give me your Holy Spirit that he may so lead and guide me in that estate that I may be one with my spouse, give no cause for anger or strife, but lead a loving and godly life, that although tribulation may not be avoided, we may nevertheless always be sensible of your gracious help and blessing raise our children according to your will, live with one another in all godliness, and finally obtain eternal salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. We conclude today, as always, with Luther's morning prayer. Let us pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come before you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, order our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. God bless your day, beloved.